I recently had a patient who was on a vegetarian diet and wanted to check TMA levels. So we did because they were supplementing with L-carnitine mm -hmm. and they actually had elevated TMAO. So that doesn't seem to be a hard and fast rule. Um, how big of a player is TMAO in the overall cardiovascular disease risk spectrum? Probably, probably a relatively small one. Yep. But if you can make some changes, um, uh, one thing I, this person didn't mention is perhaps supplementing with a, a berberine or some optimized yep. garlic, garlic with allicin. Yep. Next is, I've heard you mention a few times about L-carnitine raising TMAO. Um, it basically, it means, yes, you have gut microbiome dysbiosis, choline and carnitine are converted to TMAO in um, states of dysbiosis. Uh, this happened to this individual, it went up to over 60, and they've always had bloating issues. Uh, they've been taking the seed probiotic. Seed probiotic's a probiotic that has, I believe, all the same strains as VSL number three, which is Visbiome, plus a few extra. Um, they also have good fiber intake, five to six servings fruit and vegetables. What else are they doing? Um, so they are doing quite a bit. Yeah, and the point about the L-carnitine raising TMAO, uh, there's an interesting study that I shared about plant-based diets versus uh, omnivorous diets and raising the TMAO. And it doesn't actually turn out to always be the case. Uh, I recently had a patient who was on a vegetarian diet and wanted to check TMA levels. So we did, because they were supplementing with L-carnitine. Mm -hmm. And they actually had elevated TMAO. So that doesn't seem to be a hard and fast rule. Um, how big of a player is TMAO in the overall cardiovascular disease risk spectrum? Probably, probably a relatively small one. Yep. But if you can make some changes, um, uh, one thing I, this person didn't mention is perhaps supplementing with a, a berberine or some optimized yep. garlic, garlic with allicin. Yep. Those are some things that have preclinical data that supports this change. Yep. Now, there are differences in rodents and humans, obviously, uh, but... Anecdotally, this does seem to push down TMAO levels mm -hmm. um, or perhaps switching to a injectable form to bypass the GI tract altogether. Yeah. Any other thoughts there? Yeah, probably until TMAO is under a bit better control because 60 plus is pretty high. Decreasing the amount uh, to some degree of L-carnitine or choline precursors. And that could include alpha GPC. That could include phosphatidylserine, which is in a lot of like calming supplements. Um, some multivitamins even have choline by tartrate, for example. So there's a lot of things that could be driving this up. Yeah. Um, carnivore diets, which this person's not yeah. on. I would say congratulations to this person for having a good fiber intake and yes. getting five to six servings of fruits and vegetables per day. The, that puts them in the like 1% of the population. Yes. The things that this individual is doing to address the TMAO is going to have far better effects on health, even if it does not budge the TMAO at all, yep. uh, the health is still significantly better for it than if they were just taking a supplement for it. Absolutely. Um, next, someone asked about, uh, curious about total testosterone. They also have varicocele, about the same age as me, um, and low end of normal range free, so low normal free testosterone and total testosterone. So yeah, a lot of times with varicocele, and this was certainly the case in my case as well, although I did eat relatively low carb and did a lot of cardio, your SHBG runs on the higher end of normal. So it, it's more common to see a lower normal or a low free testosterone and a normal total testosterone, almost like andropause, or uh, honestly kind of similar to people that have an orchiectomy or undescended testicle, um, testicle loss for whatever reason, traumatic loss usually high SHBG, high FSH, low free T. And um, in general, you can estimate the severity or the grade of your varicocele based upon those markers. Uh, you're more likely to have a high grade or uh, more atrophy with higher FSH, higher SHBG, and lower free T.